normally when when an, uh, an animal comes in and it, it's exhibiting symptoms, that's our first indication of, of we're trying to work out what's wrong. So if it's vomiting or diarrhea, they're, they're quite generic symptoms, then we, um, we might treat for that. Or if it's something obviously in, a, in an acute situation where there's collapse or seizuring, and, and it, very unusually if there is sudden death, then obviously we'll perform a post-mortem. Um, and a post-mortem will give us an indication, but it will be very, very difficult to tell whether it's an animal has been poisoned or not from post-mortem, because you're, you're relying on the, the naked eye to, to look at stomach contents or intestinal contents. So unless it's something very obvious, like a, a blue slug pellet metaldehyde, for example, that hasn't yet been, been digested, then it's very, very difficult. You need to do what's called a toxicology panel, um, which will be um, sending it to a specialist lab they'll look through they'll look at all the bloods and, and run a series of, of tests on the blood personal opinion I, I think it's a high stress environment I think no matter whether the dogs enjoy it or not they're going to be very stressed and to be honest that's something that has to be taken into account as well when you're diagnosing a, any problem because stress will will trigger and, and potentially unmask an underlying problem so again there's nothing to for us to know at this stage whether there might have been a genetic problem, a heart problem for example, that may have been triggered by, by the stress of the show. I'm not sure how old the dog was actually, I think it was still quite a young dog. Um, the other thing to bear in mind is it could be something like a bacterial infection. Um, you can get tick-borne diseases, for example, that, that are, na that are um, endemic in Central Europe and, and other areas of the European community, but which, which we don't have over here in the UK, and they can cause symptoms that, that again, like muscle tremors and fatigue, that, that are very unspecific. So there's, there's a lot to, to be looked into in a case like this.